The final quality control of the Bustock Absograph 500 is performed in Bustock Laboratory, which has an international accreditation certificate. Bustock Absograph 500 is placed on a flat and solid surface. The device is used at 220 volts 50 HEZ grounded mains voltage. The grounding of the laboratory where the device will be installed is measured. The grounding value should be small equal to 5 ohms. The device should not be used by persons other than the operator who knows how to use the device. Flammable and combustible materials should not be kept near the device. Unauthorized persons and companies should not interfere with the device. Bus stop technical service should be contacted in case of problems. Linear tower. With its moving mechanism, the dough is stretched in the direction against gravity. Dough holding slot device. This is the section where the dough holding device is placed. Stretching hook. It is the metal part allowing the dough to be stretched by grabbing it from the middle part. Dough rounding unit. It is the unit that gives the dough its standard round shape. Dough cylindering unit. The unit that gives the dough a standard cylinder shape. The movements of the units can be done via the absograph touch screen or the manual buttons on the resistograph. Fermentation chambers, rooms where samples are kept at constant temperature and humidity. Dough holding device, this is the unit where the dough is compressed after the dough is shaped. The dose sample is prepared in accordance with international standards. For absograph analysis, select the absograph indicator on the touch screen. Select the new test indicator. The system automatically assigns the test date. The operator can select a different date. Enter the sample and operator name. The sample quantity is selected as 300 grams. Enter the moisture value determined by the Bustock moisture meter. The sample quantity is calculated automatically. Select the test time for water removal analysis as 5 minutes. Enter the estimated percent water removal value according to the quality of the sample. The operating speed of the kneading blades, test temperature, and additional information can be monitored on the touch screen. Pure water is transferred to the glass burette on the device. The excess pure water required is automatically discharged. The weighing container is placed on the 0.01 gram precision balance, teared, and 6 grams of salt is weighed. The automatically calculated sample amount is weighed to 0.01 gram after tearing the container on the precision balance. Press the start test indicator. The engine of the device starts to run. After 10 seconds, the warning add flower appears on the device display. The automatically calculated amount of flour is poured into the sample container of the kneading unit. Carefully close the plexiglass cover of the kneading unit. Press the OK button. The kneading blades mix the sample for 45 seconds for homogenization. At the end of the time, the warning, please add water, appears. The brine mixture is transferred with the beaker onto the flour sample through the gap in the plexiglass cover of the kneading unit.
Did the please add water warning disappears and the graph is created. When the test is completed, the test completed warning is displayed. In the resistograph device, pure water is added to the sections in the fermentation chambers before starting the analysis. The parts of the dough holding apparatus in contact with the dough are paraffinized with liquid paraffin. Select the resistograph indicator to start the test. The new test indicator is selected. The test date is automatically assigned by the system. The operator can select a different date if desired. The sample and operator name, single or double test options and test duration are displayed. Sample and operator name, water absorption value and extra information about the sample are entered. By selecting the test option, the test duration indicators of 45, 90, 135 minutes are opened and saved. To take the dose sample, the kneading unit cover is opened and the kneading blades are removed. The sample is placed on the scale with a sensitivity of 0.01 gram and 250 grams each are weighed with scissors. The samples are first placed in the dough rolling unit respectively. The dough rolling unit is started by pressing the manual button of the resistograph. The cover of the rolling unit is opened and the round dough sample is placed into the cylindering unit. The dough is given cylindrical shape by pressing the manual button of the device. Doughs shaped according to international standards are taken from the cylinder unit and placed into dough holding apparatus. The stopwatch is set to 45 minutes for fermentation monitoring. At the end of 45 minutes, the dough sample is removed from the fermentation chamber and placed in the dough holding apparatus slot. Select the find sample option from the sample list display. After the sample is marked, the start test indicator is selected. The dough gripper housing is moved upwards and the applied force is recorded. Select the results indicator and press the view button. The plotted graph is seen. This process is repeated for the parallel sample. Select the results indicator on the device screen and press the view button. The plotted graph is displayed. For the second 45 minutes of fermentation, the dough samples are placed in the dough rolling unit. Then the dough is put into the dough rolling unit. It is put back into the fermentation chamber. This process is repeated for the parallel sample. The dough sample is put into the dough rolling unit, then into the dough cylindering unit. Return to the fermentation chamber.
The stopwatch is set to 45 minutes to monitor the second 45 minutes of fermentation. At the end of 90 minutes, the dough sample is removed from the fermentation chamber and placed in the dough holding device slot. Select the find option from the sample list display on the touch screen of the apsigraph. Once checked, the start test indicator is selected. The dough holder slot is moved upwards and the applied force is recorded. Select the results on the touch screen and press the view button. The plotted graph is seen. This process is repeated for the parallel sample. Select the results indicator and press the view button. The plotted graph is displayed. For the third 45 minutes of fermentation, the dose samples are placed in the dough rolling unit and then in the dose cylindering unit for shaping. The dose samples are returned to the fermentation room. This process is repeated for the parallel sample. The dose sample is first put into the dough rolling unit, then into the dough cylindering unit and then back into the fermentation chamber. The stopwatch is set to 45 minutes to monitor the fermentation process for the third 45 minutes. At the end of 135 minutes, the dough sample is removed from the fermentation chamber and placed in the dough holder slot. Select the Find Sample option from the Sample List display. After the sample is marked, the start test indicator is selected. The dough holding device slot on the tower is moved upwards and the applied force is recorded. The results indicator is selected and the view button is pressed. The drawn graph is seen. This process is repeated for the parallel sample. The results indicator is selected and the view button is pressed. The plotted graph is displayed. By selecting the all indicator, six graphs are displayed for 45, 90, and 135 minutes for each dose sample in accordance with international standards.